everyone and welcome to the Scratchicus Academy. It is the finale for Dynamo and I'm so not ready with it so I'm consoling myself with wonderful people and chocolate milk. Um, but before I head over to Rene, um, please check out um, the links that are going to pop up in chat. Um, also, we have a GoFundMe going on at the moment, which you can see on Twitter, on our Discord, and I'm sure a link will get dropped here in a moment. It's um, to create some epic music for our Star Wars campaign. Move the way, lovely Jay. Look at her, isn't she pretty? There she is. Um, so please go and check that out. Other than that, we... Um, words we have awesome sponsors please go and check out um bird in the storm um and their merch and also mage hand press um who created dark matter other than that i feel we should probably just get into it i'm not nervous but hi renee there you go i'm not nervous you're not nervous none of us are nervous it's fine it's fine it's just finale night for dynama um hi i'm still streaming from my bed because i'm still recovering from surgery but more so recovered than i was last week so um anyway welcome i'm very excited really quickly we are playing weave by monocle society it is a uh tarot card based mixed reality storytelling rpg so it uses uh tarot style cards to inform the story as well as characters and then uh symbols on dice to help us tell our narrative which we have um tried to turn into roll 20 numbers um so yeah it's gonna be fantastic but really quickly if we could go around and say who you're playing as well as the suit that you chose and what that means. The suit is the symbol for weave. Uh, Alice, sorry. Hello, I'm Alice. I play Umiko with my reindeer Brun. Um, and I am, I will get this right for the finale, Gail's character. <laughs> Pat on the back. Very good. Gales is like the dexterity-based kind of character. Um, Kelly. Oh, Hi guys, I'm emotionally preparing myself with popcorn and liquids of various kinds. And um, I did that terrible thing where I like called on you while you had stuff in your mouth <laughs> and I feel terribly guilty fine. as a storyteller. Fine. I, I nervous eat constantly. <laughs> so this is just where we're at. Um, hi, I'm Kelly. I play Skylar, who um, is kind of the healer of the group, although Sierra has shown her chops there too. Um, <laughs> and uh, I am, uh, Skylar is a flames character, which is roughly an intelligence equivalent. Perfect. And Julie. Hi, I'm Julie. I play Fen, who is our stones character, uh, which is kind of like the tanky strength based. Um, suit, and uh, yeah, I, I'm excited. <laughs> perfect, perfect, and Jay. Hi, I'm Jay. I'm going to be playing Sierra, our Brooks character. Um, also, I just want to say, again, you know, shout out to that GoFundMe. Like, you should definitely support it. It's going to be awesome. I want to make like this channel have the best music in the whole world. So. Please support. Um, but um, also uh, saddle up because this is going to be a wild ride. I feel it. <laughs> I do too. And I'm messing with my camera because for some reason everything's weird this week. Sorry about that. Um, this is what I get for having surgery and streaming from my bed. Um, we're going to hop right into it because we have a lot to do and only three hours to do it. So, you all look up and see the crest of this machine. Actually, was it you all? Here's the thing. I remember. I think I saw it. Umiko saw it. Umiko, Umiko. saw it. Thank you. Umiko, you see the 
top of this machine. You recognize it. You've seen it before. It's the same machine that you first saw in Mellowary just two weeks ago now. But it's also the machine you've seen from a distance, lurking in the decay, except it's not in the decay anymore. It is in the forest surrounding you, and it is moving directly towards you. I think she takes a moment and then quickly just turns around in the door. It's like, everyone get up now, now, quick. And she's like banging on the walls and just trying to get everyone up. So, and she starts pulling Bryn up. She's like, we've got to get to it before it gets to, to any of them. And she sort of gestures to the injured. Is everyone waking up like the our, our other citizen people? Citizens. <laughs> I, I don't know if they're like, they're, they weren't in the cabin with us. No, I think it would have been very cramped. We'd said that there yeah. were like a dozen or so uh, survivors. Great. So that would have been pretty tight quarters, yeah. but they had uh, like, you had found a shelter for them to kind of set up that they could right. stay in. And Jaden stayed with them? Yes, he did. Okay. Um, as soon as I'm awake and I see this thing, I'm going to run to the other people and start waking them up. Okay, yeah. Uh, they're all kind of um, groggy. None of them were really expecting this. A couple of the people that, though injured, you recognize as uh, some of the, the people who had gone on patrol, uh, they perk up more quickly and start to move, helping you get others to their to their feet and out, but they're looking to you for something. Um, if I can grab hold of like Jaden and a couple of the more awake folks, um, I'm gonna like super seriously like grab shoulders and just be like, I need you to go and run as fast as you can that way, away from this thing and do not look back. We'll find you. You want me to run away? Yeah, so we can slow this thing down <laughs> before it can get to you. You want me to take everyone? Yeah. That's the best way you can help us right now. I'll, I'll do my best. And this is a bit different than the last time you had a similar conversation with him for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, he has a job this time, which is very helpful when talking to a teenager. Um, but second of all, a lot's happened in the past day. And he, without any further questions, starts directing people this way. Come on, everyone. We're gonna head into the, the forest. Help anyone you can if you're able. And he takes up the lead. Uh, he actually finds one of the other teenagers who was relatively unhurt and pulled from the rubble the day before and asks them to pull up the rear. They look very much like serious warriors, which they're not. They've never been tested like this before, but gosh darn it, they're going to do the best they can. As soon as they're on their way, I'm just kind of going to watch them leave and then turn around right back to see where everyone else is at. Marius um, is scrambling out. He has his pack thrown around his back and crossbow at the ready at his side. Um, Emeko is sort of waiting for Fen to get back and as soon as sees them and she's like, I'm going to try to get a bit closer and just see what we're dealing with. I'll be quick. Can I come with you? At least I, I want one of us to at least be able to come back if, if something goes wrong. Okay. And she's so, sort of gets on to Bruin and then holds her hand down and says, we've got to be quick. Okay. Hop up. Be careful. Always. <laughs> she sort of gives like Bryn a, a pat and canters off. 
Thank you so much to the, for the bits from Matt, and that is going to really help us, I'm sure, through this finale. Uh, we have some signature moves stored up, uh, which also will probably be very helpful, uh, but each of these characters has a unique signature move that we have gotten to see through the course of this campaign. So, well, except for Umiko's, we haven't seen Umiko's yet. Or Fens. Or Fens! We haven't seen Fens yet oh. either. I knew that too. I knew that too. <laughs> no, I knew that too. It's, it's okay, you were high last week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least I can laugh better this week. Like, that is a huge plus. I have a pillow on my tummy, but I can laugh better. Good. <laughs> Good. Last yeah. thing. Good. Last week I was just like, hey. <laughs> Um, we're not going to talk about last week. <laughs> no, we should talk about it. You killed it. You did an awesome job last week. Did. Thank you. Thank A you. Champion. Oh, um, Mare ducks back in to check. Skylar, uh, Sierra, are you okay? Do you need anything? I'm. I'm. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Okay. Oh. Good. Good start. Oh. What's going on? What's what's happening? What's all this There's, commotion? The giant machine is heading this way. Uh, one of the mechs. What? what? Yeah, one like of the, the mech, like the big mech, like the one like that the one, all mechs. The one, like the one that we saw in the decay. Yeah, that one. Oh f! <laughs> it's. It's left the decay. It's it's here. It's well, it's on its way. Oh well, oh, shit. Um, okay, yeah. okay. Like, let's get up. Let's let's get out of. And and Skylar's gonna grab all of her stuff, and she's oh gonna God. look at her blazer, and she's gonna fold it back up and tuck it in a corner. <laughs> Hopefully, that will stay okay. <laughs> Good thinking, Kelly. Oh, I'm sorry. Good thinking. Good thinking, Skylar. <laughs> Good thinking. Good thinking, <laughs> Good thinking Skylar. And and Ciara will like take off some of her wraps and like fold it up and like put it with, uh, with with the blazer. And, and Skylar's gonna look at Ciara and just be like, "I mean, we have to save the fashion. Of course, <laughs> save the world, but save save the fashion first. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've taught you well. I'm just really nervous. <laughs> Me too. And, and she's gonna reach out a hand to Sierra. And Sierra's gonna go for the hug. Okay. Oh, oh, she's gonna go for the hug. <laughs> Squad hug. hug. <laughs> We've got this. Yeah, Skylar. we can do it. Okay. Yeah, we can do it. We got this. Okay. Let's I'm not long. letting go. Hug. This is a very long hug. I was not expecting this. I don't want to go. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Tyler, I don't want to do this. This is a bad idea. We're gonna die. We we have to we have to save the rest. Of, this is, hey, and she's gonna push Sierra in front of her, take her by the shoulders, and like, we gotta be big damn heroes, right? We gotta save the world. Right. That is what I said. Yes. 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 You're gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna take down this mech. We're gonna Very save the tall, world. Tall, we're gonna become death. famous. We're gonna become famous. Oh, yes. No, you're onto something. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay, no, good we, talk. Oh, yes. Good talk. <laughs> We've got this. There's nothing so to do. She's gonna brush herself off and look up at Sierra and nod and walk out the door. <laughs> and, okay. um,. And and uh, Sierra will murmur to herself this phrase that she might have read on like a page from an a book from the old world. It's there's nothing to fear but fear itself. And she'll like march out of the doorway, like <laughs> you know, like kind of like this epic moment of like, let's go. Brilliant hair, just like billowing behind her for a second as she marches out the front door. Uh, Mari is waiting outside and Umiko, Finn, and Brun are nowhere to be seen. Wait, what? 
<laughs> they are nowhere to be seen. Uh, you do see the like the tail end of uh, the group of of um, injured being led off into the forest. Okay, good, good. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna look at Marge a bit. Where did the two of them go? He just gives you kind of a lopsided smile and just. They went to go wait. and look at the thing up close, didn't they? Yeah. There's no way we're going to catch up to them, is there? No. Okay. They should be back soon. Speaking of, though, <laughs> uh, Finn and Umiko, you rush through the forest atop uh, Brune's back. Majestic. <laughs> What's your plan here? How's this going to go? Um, Umiko, first of all, is going to reach out and grab the dynamo and swish it around them. So they both oh. become completely invisible. She sort of okay. just reaches out. It's just like, this is going to feel a little bit weird, but still hold on and just moves it around. So because you are moving, this is going to be a flames challenge of three. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> roll the first roll of the finale first roll of the finale <sighs> is it just a straight up challenge or uh yes so you'll you're wanting to get three but you have a couple of things that you can use including of course that talent okay so i've got three and then i've got that talent i've also got animal like reflexes will that add uh yeah I don't think any of the others will add to it. But okay, but I think that that like helps you kind of adjust quickly as things are changing with the dynamo. So yes, that'll work. Okay. Oh my gosh! Okay. Thank you so much, mirrors, for all of the support. What's happened? I've missed something. What have I done? Uh, mirrors is giving awesome things to each of the players, so you each get a reroll. Also, Chell. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Chell too. Thank you. Right, oh, I haven't this. gotten that information yet, but thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Hang on. Can I reroll? Oh, uh, well. Re or not? If it's okay, yes. You can reroll. Is it just one? Or? Uh, well, do you have like a 1d6 that you'd like to reroll? Because I think. We all have some. Yeah, yeah, you also yeah. have rerolls from people. Just, just reroll. D sticks. Two. It's not great. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. So. I don't remember if strikes count if they're rolled on. Sixes? I don't think we have. If you decide that they do, I'm going to offer Umiko one of my rerolls. <laughs> I can't deal with that right now this early in the game. <laughs> Death, half an hour in. I feel like in order to create the stakes that I would like <laughs> to be going during this finale, yes, they're going to count. Uh, so if you would like to share, you can. I think I've got one more reroll. Anyway, I think. Well, I think I think you've got. You've got another like you've got I've full rerolls like to reroll the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, you. So yeah, all five you can do that because I might do that. Well, that'll be good. Look there at them fives. There we go. Fives. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> And a six, so go Thank ahead and reroll, please. That six, that exploding six, that is a weave and an automatic success. Uh, okay, okay, so not an epic success, but still very good. So, um, you find yourself disappearing from sight. Then it's a strange feeling as this, it's kind of like chilling and it's strange because there's like a, a, it's like you're looking through a clear fabric, uh, see-through 
but the world around you is just a little bit more difficult to discern beyond whatever Umiko has wrapped around the group of you as Brune charges through the forest quickly. Uh, it's it's working, though, Umiko. Uh, you it... know. Okay. Shouldn't be able to see us. But I don't know how it senses things, so either way, we're going to want to make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ben kind of shivered at this, like, weird coolness and maybe, like, held on a little tighter on <laughs> Okay, can do this. Can do this, and you can hear Omako more talking to herself than anyone else. It's just sort of like, okay, okay, okay. We will survive this. Like, it's just sort of that says that a little bit quieter. You make your way through the forest, uh, and before too long, you are approaching this mech's like legs that are, they're long and spindly isn't the right word, but they are decidedly much thinner than the like body of this mech that is a, more aloft in the trees. Okay. Can we tell how fast it's moving? Uh, yes. Um, I would say it would, it took you maybe five minutes to get here on Brun's back, and it would take this mech about four times that to reach the clearing y'all were at. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if I missed it, but are there other mechs with it? That is a very good question. Yes, there are. Okay. There are two of the cat-like mechs that you've seen twice now. Uh, there is one large bear-like mech that you have also seen, and a number of smaller bird-like and monkey-like mechs swinging through the trees. Uh, a couple of the trackers, like the, the pretty basic standard mechs, are leading this pack, and so you encounter them first. That's right. And I'm assuming the smaller ones are moving faster than the big one. Yes, yeah, they are, but they're kind of, they're traveling as a pack, so they're, uh, they're pacing themselves to stay with this, this giant mech. And Omako sort of looks back at them, do, do we run back or do we slow them down? I think we'll need all of us for this. Then we go back, I, I, I don't know what to do. Well, uh, we, we have our, our thinky folks back there, so... <laughs> then we go to them, and um, Omiko will immediately turn Bryn round and charge back as fast as she can. Yeah, um, it takes you about five minutes to get back. She, they, as we sort of approach, you'll probably see Omiko is taking effectively what this is off, so you just see them sort of appear literally out of thin air. And Omiko runs straight up to Sierra and Skylar, she's like, it's, it's not just the big one, there's others, many more. I like an arm. Seen. But there's a lot. Oh. Were there any of those dudes? Didn't see anyone, they seem to be moving on their own. Graham, we can't see on the top of the big one, so if someone's riding it, I, don't, I wouldn't be able to tell. Can... we can't fight an army. We'll, we'll have got, to flee. We've got ten minutes to decide if we want to or not. So... I can well, maybe slow them down. Where would we flee to? 
They're just gonna keep coming. I don't know what they're after. If they, There's they nothing were... left here but us. Maybe if we take down the one that's leading them, they'll all stop. If I pull out the, like, radar-like device that I found the other day, is there um, any difference to it? Yeah, um, you see essentially dots on the screen, um, and there are, gosh, how many did I say? There were seven dots, seven dots on the screen. Um. Closer, like yeah. somewhere in between where you guess and have estimated that the encampment is from the, the circle in the center. Does it seem like, like this is the circle in the center? Like, the, the device that I'm holding is no. like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, family. Yeah, we love, we you, love family. you. Hi, Chad. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. <laughs> It's been a very exciting night. I know my finale. <laughs> my mom says hi. Hi, mom. <laughs> She's helping um, me get my computer charger so I don't have to move. On a scale of one to ten, how hype is chat for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's about to happen? <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> like, what if this ends in a TPK? Like, don't even uh, see the vlog. I would say it's the finale. <laughs> and then see what happens. <laughs> More okay. uh, we all die and appear uh, reborn whoa. again in the middle of the decay somehow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I'm back. Okay. I have a question. If I asked for my phone charger too. She did not give me that one. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. <laughs> Mirrors will personally fund our lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's three rolls we have. That's How many of Sierra's signature moves do we need to if avoid? I die, I'm going to be so disappointed in myself because <laughs> like, I have everything there to survive. <laughs> well, what are y'all doing? Because here's a, here's here's a question: What are y'all doing? Well, I don't know where the center of this thing is. Like, if it's yeah. not what I'm holding, is it the okay. camp? Is it so the um? And correct me if I didn't specify this, and I imagine saying it last week, <laughs> but didn't vocalize it. Um, the the outline, the red outline uh, around it, is comparable. Comp Comparable. comparable to the maps that uh, Bastion had of the outline mm -hmm. of the decay. Okay. And we, we were cross-referencing. Um, so does it seem like it is the, the camp itself or a point near it? So the circle is actually in the red part. Oh. Um, and so no. Okay, so they're not heading towards it. They're they're heading away from the circle. Oh, okay. okay. There are seven I thought they're heading towards it. <laughs> okay. And they're they're also outside of the little red uh, line. Right. But each time the the little the, the, the line, so, yeah, the line, the little line, line that keeps like going around and around. Uh, every time it flashes, the red expands. Huh. Oh. That's growing really fast. Is yeah. there anything uh, Skylar would like to maybe get a feel for the dynamo on the camp and see if there's anything here besides us? Like, okay, maybe there's some tech. Maybe there's like, like, why are they coming here other than to kill us? <laughs> okay, yeah, or is that the only reason they're coming? <laughs> Go ahead and let's make this like a perception check. 
Okay. Because uh, you're using the dynamos, so we're going to make this intelligence based. Yeah, it's going to be like investigation type flames challenge of three type thing. Okay. Um, so I'm a flames character, so that's plus one. Um, and okay. then I'm reading the, the dynamo to do it because it, okay. I can read how it interacts with both people and things. Um, so that's two. Okay. Mm. 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 I think that's it. Okay, uh, then that'll do it. Mm, I'm gonna reroll that. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, ow. Frick. <laughs> Wait. Why will have? Can I okay. gift a reroll? <laughs> Uh, technically, oh, that's a success, so, uh, we're good. Okay. Right? Because that's a five and two sixes. Yep. Where is my... <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my pain meds in my lap, but I need those. No. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, you feel two things. One, there doesn't seem to be, like, another source of power here. Except that the dynamo is going wild around you. It is swirling and moving more quickly, more furiously than anything you felt. Except it is familiar to the phenomenon that you felt at Mellowary before a portal opened up and brought you here. To that popcorn. My popcorn has turned from my stress snacks to my thinking snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Great. Okay. Um, and I think Scarlet would just say, "She's like, I, I can't feel anything else here that would be drawing them here, other than us." And so I have a pretty good feeling that if we were to run away, they would just keep running after us. Okay. I feel like we have to stand and fight. At, at that, Emiko walks over to Bryn, who she's sort of dismounted. It just sort of holds his head and puts her forehead up against his and is like, you're going to sit out of this one. And just sort of like gives him a bit of a scratch behind the ear and just points in the direction of where the others ran to. So, go. You'll not just go. Prune looks very hesitant. I can't have you in the middle of this. It's going to follow me regardless. You've done nothing wrong. After a moment, his head kind of inclines a little bit. And he huffs and then gallops off towards the, uh, the group that's left. And it just looks like her, the water running down from her hair again, but she's just quickly like wiping her face and just sort of waves him off. Right. I'm not going to be as quick anymore, but um, it's not like I can outrun it. So. To be fair, who can? <laughs> it doesn't move very fast. We'll all need to be together anyway, so. If we're going to do this, we'll need to do it as a team. Yeah, nobody wander off. This is a, a, a squad event. Squad event. <laughs> Our first official squad event. Squad event, okay. 
<laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'll go with it. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll write up uh, an agenda next time we get the <laughs> when we get back. Just take down the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I I got an idea. Um, it means I may not be able to stay as close. What kind of idea? I can get a hold of one of those. I haven't tried it with anything bigger than uh, one of like the little tracker ones, but if I can get a hold of one of those, I think I could do some damage. Well, then you can't go on your <laughs> own. <laughs> Well, if, if it all goes to plan, then it also helps protect you guys, so... I'm fine. How many were there? I'm counting. There are two of the cats. Um, got the bear. The bear one. Uh, a few of the flying ones and a few of the trackers. What's I can it? try and to take down the flying ones. They'll be a nuisance, but a crossbow might be able to t bring them out of the sky. I feel like, well, I the the legs on that big one are real strong. I don't think that's where we can really hit it. Maybe, maybe one of the flying ones could do more damage to it. How do you expect to in antagonize one of the flying ones to attack its own leader? I mean, if I can get on it, maybe I can oh. steer it in the right direction. <laughs> and climb up onto the top of that thing. What if you... <laughs> what if you fall? What if you fall? <laughs> well, I, I expect I'll deal with that if it happens. <laughs> Okay. Grab another bird. There's, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to hit this thing. Well, what if we can create a distraction for you to get up there? If that is the plan we're going for. Okay, what kind of distraction? Or, I hate to say it, what if we all went together? You want to climb? Oh, yeah. Climbing we, is okay. Climbing is a C word, not an F word. Or if we can lead it to a, a building of height. You know those dreams that you have where you can fly? I wish that were actually a thing right now. That would be uh, awesome. E either way, I could maybe you... make that happen. Can you get Fen up there? Can you get us all up there? Ilara, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I've got some oomph left. I, t I slept. You, you, yes, but it knocks it out of you really quickly. Then you'll just be incapacitated. I will stay on the ground. There are other things besides the big one. I can't. Yeah, I I can't get like sustained. I can't do anything for a long time. And then you're in danger. But I could basically get the dynamo to toss you. <laughs> You want to throw them? <laughs> looks over. I mean, like, controlled toss. <laughs> that. <I know. laughs> well, let, let's see if, if what's to, on the ground, what we can do with I that mean, first. Maybe I could also... If it got close enough so I could see it, I could make one of those portals that popped open on the top of it. 
All I know is that whoever... I don't want to shoot down your ideas. They're great ideas. But the last time you opened up a portal, we ended up... Yeah, well, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. That was the first time, right? Like, you need to let a girl practice a little bit. <laughs> Fair? Yeah, okay. I also have more rerolls than I did that time. <laughs> and the, the other option could be, could be to lead... To try to lure this thing towards the ruins of of the buildings, which and and go and hop from the building onto its back. Use our surroundings to our advantage. The Correct. buildings are a good two hours from here. Mare, if you have any better ideas, then now's the time <laughs> to speak up. I just feel like this is a very difficult situation. What if we all went and climbed into some trees? Trees are good. Trees are readily available. And I'm then we, even if we can't get on top of the thing, maybe we can surprise the rest of them. That's a start. Stay on the ground. I think someone should be on the ground because we don't know what's going to happen up there. Well, I know that I should be able to access whoever could potentially be in a fatal situation. I should be able to access them. Skylar, I have an idea. Priority, yeah. Yeah? How big of a hole can you make in the ground? Like, And how fast can you do it? Like what you did before with the portal thing. But just like a hole? Well... Like like a like a pitfall trap well it could just be a portal it doesn't really matter where it goes um thinking if you could do that right before the big one steps in it but the worst thing that happens is that we don't know where it's in town somewhere yeah it's foot i thought you said you were getting the hang of this I mean, the whole thing's not going to drop. Yeah, I'm going to Mari like, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean to slow it down. You are not uh, helpful. We are running out of time. <laughs> no, no. I see what Finn is saying, right? Like, if you open up trip it. a spot under, yes, and then the leg goes through, the whole machine doesn't. What happens if the dynamo closes? Does it, like, sever the leg? It, regardless, it could make it stumble, which could help solve the problem of getting to it. Yeah, if it falls, I think that's, well, the, the best first case scenario. Then it wouldn't really matter wherever you sent the leg. Yeah, that's a good point. I think it'd be easier to just, like, crack open the ground, though. I totally have faith in your abilities. I don't know what, how... Thank you for your emotional works. and physical support. <laughs> <laughs> that or the rope thing you do, I whatever you okay. think would work... I'm going to trip the damn thing. Got it. Trip the thing. Like, Umiko's listening, but she's stepped away from the group slightly, just keeping an eye mm. on the forest. Just I'm going to trip the thing. I'm going to do it from a tree, if that's okay with everybody else. And she turns yeah. and finds the nearest tree to climb up. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Mare is just kind of holds the crossbow up and is like, vantage point. Do you mind if I take a tree? Cool. For it. He actually, he picks a tree that's not, like, too far away from, uh, Skylar's. I, I'll stay on the ground in case someone falls. Stay close to me. Just yes. Together. Yes. You know, just in case someone falls. Just in case someone falls. We'll be fine. You mm -hmm. hear Skylar call her half -like, climbing halfway up a tree. <laughs> She's like, good job using that F word there. I'm very proud of you. That's some personal growth. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even realize. Wow. I am brave. <laughs> Big damn hero, Sierra. <laughs> Um, I think I'm also going to stay on the ground, but I'm going to take 
cover and be watching as well. Um, Umiko's fairly quiet. She's just watching this edge of the forest to see when it comes through. She is nervous. For one thing, I don't know if they actually can see or if it's just going on a track or something. You can, you feel it before you really see it. The ground moves a bit under each step and the trees tremble. Then you hear them scream as this mech works its way closer and closer to you. You can start to see the glimpses and flashes of metal between spaces in the tree. And then you see the first tracker emerge from below in the bushes, its head swinging back and forth and its lens glinting red. Just a few moments later, the first cat-like mech begins to approach. And then you see one of the massive feet from this mech make landing feet away from you. With a crash, it lands and the tracker's head sweeps towards you. Um, can I try and... This? I'd like to attack it in the way that I have been attacking these ones. Um, so either going for immobilizing it or just trying to take it down as quickly as possible. Yeah, this is something that you have done countless times at this point as like a, a machine hunter, basically. So uh, you can use kind of your standard array for whatever that is. Okay. Um, yeah. I know I always have like, I always roll six and I know I have an extra one. Um, cool. I'm gonna just roll for it. Go for it. Whew. Okay, reroll those sixes. That is successful. <laughs> yeah, that absolutely is. Uh, go ahead and reroll the six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, that's I think with our our rulings on what it is to take these down, um, that it's just a stone's challenge of two. So I'm pretty sure that is yet another epic success, which I'm also pretty sure you've gotten every time you've taken down a tracker. I think so. <laughs> every time. So Overkill. Um, <laughs> yet again, I asked you, oh, what okay. does this look like? Um, yes. What I want to do is use it to shield myself. Um, and make it look like it hasn't actually been, um, uh, like, I don't want to draw attention. Um, and I want to use that as, like, cover to get closer to one of the cat ones. Um. Okay. You see what I'm going for? It's just like... Well, it's an epic success, so, uh, <laughs> tell me how this works. <laughs> okay, so, um, I think since they were fairly close together, the tracker was... Close, the one that was closer to me before mm -hmm. the foot happened. And so I just kind of like dodged around the giant foot and um, almost like gutted this thing as I went by, um, but used the momentum to bring it with me closer to the cat one. And so if I could be like really close to it, almost like swing it in front of the cat to distract it. Okay, yeah, it works because again, 
epic success, and the cat, much like a cat, <laughs> turns to the moving thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm all about my Dark Souls in here. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> um, I don't know if initiative is the thing that we're doing, but if I could keep going, I would love to continue and go for this cat thing. Um, yeah, I, th I think that that works again, uh, just... Okay. Yeah. Um, but if I want to... Here's the thing, if I want to use the signature move, will it help if I damage it first? Uh, for a machine this size, uh, I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. Um, I'm gonna say no. I think you can do this without. You're probably gonna cause some damage in the process, right? Like, yeah. that's the nature of it. But if that's what you're going for, I'll let you take it from there. Okay. Um, then as this distraction happens um ben uses that moment to jump up like and like scramble up the side of this cat neck and like rip off some parts of its like back plating shove their like metal arm into it and like turn something and the way that they've brought it brought up the like plating around them gives them a little like cover and at least from like the front and kind of like front-ish. Um, and this mech just like kind of shudders and then I, I don't know if the, the like lens turns a different color or what this looks yeah, like, but- it does. It totally turns blue because- Cool. We know. Yup. It turns blue and this Mech veers pretty immediately to face the other oncoming cat. Cool. This has all happened very quickly, but we're gonna go ahead and say, uh... What's happening, fam? Has anyone else do anything? Just curious. There's no pressure. Umiko is still talking to herself, even though Sierra says she's like, okay, okay. She starts like jumping on the spot a little bit, like trying to get her adrenaline going. She starts rolling up her sleeves and removes her boots and rolls up her overalls so she's barefoot. So, like, okay, okay, okay. What are, you, what are you doing? It's nothing. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Is this a good time? For what? <laughs> to remove your footwear. We might have to run it any minute. This is the best time to remove my footwear. <laughs> you hear like the screeching of metal as Fen just like launches into action and it's epic. It happens in the span of a few seconds, but it's like stunning. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay. And even Umiko's just sat there, just sort of like just like Skylar's <laughs> just watching. Like, yeah, Skylar's actually like huh, yes, <laughs> in the tree. Just, maybe we should just leave this to Fen. Yeah, I'm <laughs> thinking maybe we could all go home. Okay, but um, yeah, great idea. I'm being supportive. <laughs> and like Umiko swings her boots so that they can get as far out of the way of the battlefield as possible. She's like, I like my boots. Um. Oh, oh, yes, protect the clothes, protect the clothes, yes, yes. N no, that's not, okay, okay. Yes, you know what, in fact, and she removes another no, like, no, layer no. of her, like, <laughs> of her, like, scarves and robes, and, like, tucks it with the boot. Yeah. How many more layers does she have? <laughs> she has a lot of layers, they're all like, very thin layers, though. Okay, I was like, she barely wears anything to begin with. Oh, yeah, no, like, it's just, like, literally, like, sheer fabrics and stuff, yeah. Yeah, okay, got it. So it's, like, one more scarf, just, like... Just taking it along. Emiko, like, curls her toes into the dirt, just almost like she's trying to find grip. Okay. If we need to make a distraction, I'm ready. I can't do this with shoes. Oh, 
Dynama. Something or other. What? No, Bye. I don't know. I don't, I'm just trying to make sense of this, Umiko. You're acting she's very just, Yeah, she is acting. Like, she's rolling up her sleeves. Like I said, she's rolling up her um, overall trousers all the way up. So they're almost like um, just below the knee. Just like, okay, okay. And she's just going to run forward and s- just start sprinting towards it. Umiko! Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, who are, which one, like, which one are you sprinting towards? The ones, if there are any that look like they're going for Fen, but not in combat with Fen. Right, but okay, so the other two trackers, you can see them, and their attention has turned to the one tracker that got taken down immediately, and this cat that Fen is now atop and riding. Hmm. She's just going to start sprinting towards them. Wants to see if they see her first, more than anything. Okay, I'm going to roll perception for them. They do. They yeah. see you. With those threes, they uh, their heads turn towards you, and um, they kind of like... Th- they, they hesitate. And she stands there and doesn't move briefly just to make sure they're watching her. And slowly she walks sideways as if she's going around the main mech towards them. Their heads kind of swivel to follow. And then she pauses. Can I use my signature move, please? Yes, you can. She not crouches down, but she sort of braces herself more than any.